What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Black Uchiha 3, and I am back with another video, guys. Okay, for those of you guys who saw my spoiler video, and you should know that, like, we've got a whole lot of potential, like, events that are gonna be, like, going down in chapter 30 of the Boris Omega. The release will be in a couple of days, so I'm really excited for that, guys. Uh, if you haven't seen that last video, you might want to click out of this video and go check out that last video first because I'm really kind of just building off of that last video. So what I want to talk about today, guys, I'm sure most of you know from reading the thumbnail, is my man's Kashin Koji, right? All right, so I've really been influenced to do a really huge individual video on Kashin Koji, and this particular video right now is not going to be that video but something did trigger the inspiration for this video i had a good friend ask me the other day he was like yo uh black uchiha well let me not stop lying to y'all none of my friends call me black uchiha but he was like yo bro uh do you really think kashi koji is jiraiya and at that point in time it was like yo there's only really like one answer for this and obviously no one in the fandom knows this answer Unless you got some type of connection with the writers, which I highly doubt. But I really just sat to myself like, there's no way for me to beat around this answer. It's either yes, I believe so, or no, I don't. And I ended up telling him, nah, I really do not believe this guy is Kasha Koji. But what I do believe, without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, is that Kashin Koji is somehow connected to Jirai. There's no way that he's not, you know, from him just like, you know, having a reminiscent past with the Hidden Leaf Village, him being able to enter in and out of the village without being detected, you know, just him having this toll contract, him being able to use Rasengan, him bulging the same way that Jiraiya used to bulge back in the Naruto mangas. You know, there's just too many, like, connections right there and i feel like the writers are really just playing with this topic for as long as they can go until they feel finally realize all right you know we've done too much or like people are finally getting tired of it they're gonna throw something in there like i feel like he has some type of connection or some type of tie to jirai whether it's being blood relations or student master relations or you know somewhere along that line you know my man's dry and traveled around the world a lot before he even trained naruto and even like after he got done training naruto a little bit in the shippuden my man's jirai been doing a whole lot of traveling like his name is out there people know him so it wouldn't be surprising if maybe maybe kashin koji is the son of a student of jirai you know and the way that kashin koji's father described jirai kashin koji was like yo i want to grow up to be like the greatest master ever and maybe he just knows that you know oh this seventh hokage is like jirai is like star pupil out of everyone he's taught so there's a whole lot of freaking ways we could go about this topic but you know that's really not what i want to focus on in this video what i really want to focus on like i mentioned in my last video inside of some of the spoilers from organic dinosaur thanks to her update she translates the spoilers for us every month before the chapter comes out um i'm gonna have her reddit description links in descriptions below if you guys want to check out the spoilers for boards with chapter 30 but you know one of the things that it mentions is that you know kashin koji isn't really looking to meddle this chapter in chapter 30 we do see that kashin koji is watching boruto and kawaki spar while they're learning you know to train not only just to get stronger but just to be able to hone their skills with the karma seal you know and be able to control it and manipulate it at will you know that's really huge so kashin koji is literally just right there watching these niggas possibly like watching them through the toads or however he wants to do it and in a sense it's like okay so who is he gonna confront we know how kaoki is he has this like attitude like as soon as he sees kashi koji i'm pretty sure it's gonna be off bat like he's 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 wailing on him but you want to know what's interesting is like we've been in this situation for like i can confidently say for like a few weeks now in boruto's timeline you know since from the first time they met kaoki to point a like where we're at right now with kawaki and you know boruto sparring in the future chapter uh it's I, I can confidently say it's been at least a couple of weeks since kawaki's been staying with boruto you know they've gotten like at least 
not I can't say used to each other, but at least tolerable of each other at this point, you know, so like really what's taking Kasha Koji so long? I understand, you know, Delta, that's really a question that's heavy on Delta's mind. You know, she's been urging Jigen like, yo, she just needs to take over the mission, get this shit done because Jigen was so anxious to get the vessel back, aka Kabuki, you know, and obviously Delta, it looks like in the next chapter, Delta will be taking matters into her own hands. Like I said, you guys might want to check out that last video if you want to know more about that. But still, she will be taking matters into her own hands. What it seems to me is like, Kasha and Koji is just waiting for something in particular. When he first, you know, saw Kawaki and Boruto together, back when, you know, Kawaki was fighting that outer Kara memory, blew that guy's face off, like, straight up with his karma seal. You know, Kawaki, uh... Koji mentioned a couple of interesting things, not only, well, we've gotten more into the fact that Boruto and Kawaki seals are able to resonate, you know, even go back in the last chapter where Kawaki helped Boruto turn on his karma seal when Boruto was sparring with Naruto, so there's a connection between their seals in that sense, and he's trying to figure out if that is the reason why Jigen is interested in Kawaki. Now, why would that be the case if, you know, Jigen's interested in Kawaki for the fact that Kawaki seal is able to resonate with another seal, you know? I really don't feel like Boruto has anything to do with Kara organization's plans. I feel like, I don't know, Jigen is trying to, you know, him just running through all these kids, pause, <laughs> him running through all these kids and planting the seal into them, you know, trying to see who has the strongest body and able to mature and adapt into the seal and become powerful with it. Like, I honestly, honestly don't know, like, if it's like Jigen is just looking for another body, which I really doubt on some like Orochi Maru type of vibes, or maybe he's just looking for, you know, a seal that's able to resonate. Maybe between the two seals, the key seal is actually Kawaki's seal, and his seal is actually able to activate or trigger or resonate with other seals in a sense. Maybe that is the case and why Jigen is so interested in Kawaki. But the main point is Kashin Koji is very, very bet on finding out why like if you really honestly think about it this man should have been able to bring kawaki back a long time ago so if that's the case why hasn't he done so and the fact that in this chapter it says he really isn't looking to metal which means like this dude pulled up into the hit of leaf purposely by himself without like delta by his side like not looking to fight so maybe that's why because you know delta would have been like why are we still watching them in a sense the first time when delta pulled up she didn't know what was going on so it was kind of like obvious that she would sit and watch with koji but at this point it's like okay we know why we're here and you obviously have the target in sight so what's going on it looks like kashi koji is going to be letting these dudes rock it out in their sparring match you know boruto and kawaki Maybe he's just picking up more information on how Kawaki Seal reacts with another seal in the round. Maybe this is just that rare of an opportunity that Jigen will have to understand. Or maybe Kashi Koji is really just taking this opportunity not only just to see, okay, maybe he's like, should he really trust Kawaki being in a place like this? He has some type of alternate plan for Kawaki and he doesn't really intend to bring him back into the Kawa organization. And that's really just been on my mind because what other reason would Kash and Koji have for not wanting to fight or not wanting to acquire the target after infiltrating into the Hidden Leaf Village where we got multiple strong shinobi who survived the fourth grade ninja war. On top of that, not excluding my, like, my homie Naruto who really like, he hands out hands for breakfast, his shadow clones hands out hands for lunch, like he does this on a 24-7 basis. So like, this dude Kash and Koji has something up his sleeve and I feel like the first person who encounters him we're gonna find out a whole lot you know whether it's possibly let's just say boruto and kawaki notice him i wonder what what will happen at that moment you know i wouldn't be surprised to see kawaki wanting to like scrap off a of bat even boruto too he'll probably just go along with it but you know at the same time boruto will probably have questions for him like how did you know my name like the last time we met like really what's going on and even if you come across naruto that would be even more interesting because you already know my son naruto is gonna have a thousand and one questions on top of a talk no jutsu and if that's not working he's slapping them with a smooth rasa and shuriken to the stomach no questions asked but still kash and koji got just too much going on right now like i really want to know his true motives and i honestly want to know how will it be like you know once we have delta entering into the village whether she comes across kashi koji or not is she gonna suspect him to the point like nah 
he's doing some funny money stuff or he's taking too long he's procrastinating is it possible that he's procrastinating because he's trying to throw the plan off on purpose bro i'm not really saying kasha koji is a good guy but i i'm i really like on a scale from one to ten a high like a high high or i'm gonna say a low eight i was gonna say a high seven but a low eight i really believe i'm not gonna say kasha koji is a good guy in that Kara organization, like he's just completely with them, or he's just a straight up good guy. But I just believe he's in like he falls into another category that that like I don't know that just we don't know about because there's a whole lot we don't know about with these seals, with these karma seals, and you know I don't me personally I don't even believe like all those seals that were on the wall are even like karma seals. You know like it's just too much going on, and then we got you know Boruto's eye, and then like. The Shinobi world is just dying. It's just Nakashi Koji want to be like Jiraiya. My son Jiraiya actually in the bottom of the ocean. There's a whole lot. So I really believe like, I don't know. There's something else. There's another key component or like another group. Because, you know, we got the Shinobi world. And everybody's hype. I'm hyped for this big potential war between the Otsutsuki clan and the Shinobi world. And then we just got the Kara organization in the mix, you know. And this Jigen guy, a lot of people think he's like a banished or forbidden Otsutsuki clan member. So, like, what's going on with that? And now we got this Kasun Koji guy who looks like he's really not in line with this Kara organization and he really got something going else on. But it would be too cliche for him to be like, yeah, I'm my interests are in a complete good welfare for the Himalaya village. You know, that would be like... All right, yeah, he's, he on some Itachi vibes. Uh, but that'll be like on some, bro, I saw that coming. You know what I'm saying? From a writer's standpoint, from like a fan standpoint, I'd be like, yeah, I saw that coming. So it would be even more interesting if not only is he not aligned with the Kairos organization's interests, but he got his own interests. Like, forget the Hidden Leaf also. Like, oh, snap, Kasha Koji would be like a whole other problem on his own. But like I said, again, guys, I can be completely wrong. We won't know until we know. So until then... We got Boruto Chapter 30 coming out. I'm really excited. Keep your eye out for that review. It's going to be big. It's probably going to be like one of the biggest chapters we got. Last chapter of the year, 2018. It's your boy, Black Uchiha. Three long face, skinny body, got no degree. I'm still working on that part. Holla at your boy. I'm going to holla at y'all. Black Uchiha out.